No one actually likes Jordan, but quite a few people fear him. And so I need people to help me get rid of him because I want to win the final. I don't think we're gonna make it. You're not making a deal. Right. I'm not. Why would Sarah and I try and do away with the easiest team to beat in a final? It just doesn't make sense for us. So thank you, but no thanks. What's the biggest reason? Just done wheeling and dealing. Just gonna let the chips fall. That's not how intelligent men do this. But if I can't my track record, I don't make the most intelligent decision. I do. I've been protecting that fool since we got here for this reason. Their insurance. He's not a veteran, and he's here with somebody that could care less. If I go into an elimination round against you or Leroy in the last one, when we could have fixed this, I'm gonna be pissed. Just say it. We're the only team that can beat you in the finals, and so if you get a chance, you're gonna throw me up against a team that could send me home. Possibly, yeah. And who's the one person in this house that can beat Sarah in a long distance run? Teresa. Yeah, and I don't like how she talks to people sometimes. Like, she's the queen of this house. You guys are a strong team, but be nice, Teresa. You don't need to be a bitch. On the bitch ass scale, you are a substantially bigger ass than she is a bitch. Nope. Good to know, Jordan. I have been working my butt off to keep the rookies here for the last elimination round. It could be in the bag, but it's not because Jordan is a narcissistic, scary cat. Hey, bro, I got bad news. He doesn't want to do the insurance policy. Nah. We'll just go into it straight up. So you've heard it. You made the best man win. Yeah, I know. You are not to be trusted. Good to know where your head's at. OK. Wes is just acting like a scorned little boy. He didn't get what he wanted, so he's gonna throw a temper tantrum and he is gonna try and make this house flip against me. Don't worry, it'll be okay. He's a punk, we've always said that. Well, it's good we're in his head, or at least you're in his head, because he said that you were a bigger bitch than he was an ass today. What? Yeah. What? I know. He was like, she thinks don't stink. What? That's not true. On Bible, my mom, verbatim. Oh my God. When I look at Jordan, I always thought he was somewhat of an honorable person. For him to go and say these mean things about me is just so demeaning. I'm gonna cry like a little bitch. What are you mean? To who? Teresa. What? No. Yeah. Him. And then no. Wes that said, mother. She's really sad. Wes, do not go and tell Teresa that I said bull. What did you look say in the that eyes, I said? Look me in the eyes and tell me that you didn't say Teresa is a bigger bitch than you are an asshole. No, you said. You are now lying. You said Again. on the scale of asshole to bitch, you're bigger. And I said, no, I'm not a bigger asshole. Period. I defended myself. So that means you're a bigger bitch. I defended bitch. myself. See, that's what I so said. Don't go around saying that I'm being a rude that's ass just what because you I said. wouldn't take your weasel deal. That's Wes. what you said. No. So no, just no, said you no. Said it. He's gonna try and make it look like I am the biggest ass douchebag. My reputation does not need any more douchiness added on. I defended myself against you. You have no idea what you're talking about. I did not go out of my way to say Teresa is a bitch. Argue the semantics all you want. You're the biggest dick in this house. Do not go and try and use her against me. I'm because not I would not take your you. Deal. I, I said I think you, you got some big britches on. And you got some big britches on too. I'm the only one in this house that's ever won a challenge. You're scared to go against me in the finals because I'm the only one that's left in the house that's even won. And I've done it twice. And I've done it with a partner. And I've done it on my own. <laughs> and I'll do it again. Congratulations! Who gives a f We're here and now, not 10 years ago. And you are not the same roided up Wes as you were. So if you want to go into a elimination and talk all the that you just talked, let's do it. Things in the house have been like a slowly simmering pot of water, but it only takes about one degree to turn that water from simmering into boiling over. Now I feel like World War III is breaking out. Sean wants bear. Don't do bear. I mean, we didn't make a decision, so. Yeah, we have, we, we have time. Don't do bear. We didn't make a decision. Wes is trying to wrangle up a group. And right now, Wes knows that his only shot is going after guys who are new to this game or are new to working with him. Mm -hmm. Joss and Rogan, he has them 100% locked in his camp. And Wes is going to convince you guys to vote the way he wants to go to benefit his game. Bear and Wes aren't working together. So by throwing Bear in, what you're doing is taking out 
one of the people working against Wes. I essentially tell Jordan, the best way to find out what Wes is doing is to tell him that you want to either send in Joss or Rogan and see what his reaction is. Whoever goes in, I want it to be equal. Yeah. I so, so that way it's a toss up. But I think we should stay pretty middle of the road. Which is who? Rogan. But we throw in Rogan, we piss off Joss. And he will hold a grudge and he will do everything in his power to f with us. So I offer up Rogan. And Wes shoots it down pretty hard. Why is Wes trying to save Rogan? Hmm. I think he's a rat. He's got a target, man. Huh? Yeah. Wes has told me Rogan's name is up there for elimination. Rogan's my best friend and he's one of my lines. So I need to go tell Rogan as soon as possible so he can do something about it. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. Joss has just come and passed information to me that Wes has told him that I might be going down to the proving ground. My head is on the chopping block. I went home first before, it's not happening again. Jordan, we need to speak. If I was to go home now, I would be devastated, so I don't want the risk. Who told you where we, what we were? I just had a bad feeling all day. So no one has told you anything? Well, maybe. I but need, I need if to know it, if it, someone. Okay, so I'll tell you if you it would, tell it me. Would, it would go a long way. Okay, so Wes gave him the nod that he's not gonna go for me, but he thinks he's too well. I think it's no surprise that Wes has already began leaking information to the UK. He's always trying to scheme, he's always trying to use rookies or people that haven't played the game to do his dirty work. Please don't repeat that. No, no, I, no. That, that is because I want to I wanna form a bond right here, right now. Even if you think I'm going to smash short, I don't want to risk it. Not, if no, it's not in the first elimination. Well, right? I went home first before it killed me. And if I didn't this time, you'd have me as a brother for the whole time on here watching your back. I can't give you an answer right now, but let me let me go talk. Okay. Okay. Appreciate it. Wes is already working with the UK team. If you think that we are going to let this treasonous act go unheard by the rest of our team, you are sadly mistaken, you little rat. On the way back from elimination, I let Team USA know, hey, we have an emergency team meeting as soon as we get back to the house. Hey, Roy, in your ass, in there. The rest of the team needs to know what Wes is doing. He's already making deals, baby. We don't do that. We don't switch sides in the USA. Today, we decided that we would pick Rogan. Within five minutes, Rogan comes up to me, and Rogan tells me that Wes told him we were gonna put him in. And then when TJ asks who Wes voted for, he voted for Bear. But do you know why he voted for Bear? Why what? It was a burn vote, Leroy! But why are we burning votes? Why are we burning votes already? It was the first one. Why didn't we stay uniform? We have a Benedict Arnold already. So where was the breakdown in communication, Wes? So I was told something else, another piece of information, because I don't know if you guys know, but one of my main people, friends here in this game, is Dee, who is very close to Rogan. She said that Jordan made a deal with Rogan today to save him in the future, which is why he changed his mind. Jordan is just exposing himself as someone that is gonna be a big crybaby. I have to do everything in my power to discredit Jordan right now. Why did you switch to Bear? Why did you switch from Rogan? I switched off of Rogan. Shut up, and I'll we answer the deal. question. I switched from Rogan because I wanted to know who <laughs> told him, and he told me. It was you. So what this confirms is that Wes is a sneaky piece of Are you no way. Wes, you are no longer in a house full of mindless idiots that have no idea how to play this game. You are a shark in a tank of sharks, and we already smell blood in the water. He took a deal and changed his mind. I didn't Wes. take a deal. It sounds like you Wes. did. You said, Wes. all over you want. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Our team meeting is not good. They are not talking good. They are just fighting. Everyone judge everyone. The US team looks like the best team ever assembled in challenge history. But they're already trying to make too many deals. They're spreading themselves too thin. 
they're gonna implode. My opinion on this is that we're USA over everything. We vote for UK each and every time as much as humanly possible. But the little... <laughs> Right, but Wes, <laughs> as much as humanly possible. <laughs> if we start like making little rules like, oh, you can't share for them, and now you can't tell this secret, but you can tell this, it's too complex, and, and if you gotta keep it simple, it's simple with this many personalities. I am definitely most suspicious of Wes in this game. From the very first elimination, we've already seen that he is more than willing to run to the other team, tell them everything we're doing. So here's something we should talk about if we win. What guy is going to be speaker next? The people that were maybe helping their best players, and then we can see if they really want their best players to go home or we want their worst players to go home. So the people that were screaming. Big for screaming Georgia? Yeah, screaming yeah. for so, Georgia. So I can't be the so no, no, you can't. So maybe Josh you should be the speaker. Be. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. I, I think I the shot is clear. We're going for their strongest players. We know what we got to do. Josh essentially says, I'll be the speaker. I'll go after their best player. And that's a great way for someone that's new to our alliance to kind of prove themselves. Let's get this win tomorrow. US on three. One, two, three. US! Yes. I'm sitting there minding my own business, helping Nelson and Corey with the turf. They've kind of messed it up because they were doing some sprints on it. And I hear Jordan from across the biosphere yell at me about what he thinks the correct way to fix the turf is in his like condescending prick sort of way. This is the best gym area we've ever had, I've ever seen on a challenge. But Wes and some of the guys are messing with the turf. Of course I chime in and then I turn around thinking that that's it. Lo and behold, Wes runs up with his pasty white body and he decides he's gonna give me a lesson on respect. Don't come over here, don't come over here and get my knife. Did you yell at me first? No. From across the room? No. Lie? No. There's, I no. wasn't even talking so about you're, it. So you're I wasn't even talking may, about may the turf. Okay, when you're done, let me say something. Bananas. Bananas. Even though Wes and I are working together, I'm not touching this one. Go to your little run. Get out of here. Wes, go. Let's go. Wes, 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 did you find it really that necessary to run up here in my Did I run up? zone? Did I run up? How can you take an argument seriously when someone's holding a, a three foot long sausage in your face? This is a really unnecessary argument. So that's it, that's all you got. You're gonna stand from across the room and say, you're an asshole, and then you're gonna run up here, ah, you're an asshole. I didn't so run up. So of course up. I'm gonna put my in your face. Jordan is threatened by me in this game, outside of this game. He sees me as a threat, and he just refuses to just be the bigger person. What else do you have to say? You will not talk to me the way you talk to your wife. Are you kidding me? Like, how dare you, Wes, bring my relationship and Jordan into this? You guys figure out your Don't bring me into it. You can't speculate on what we do. Wes's theme for this season, it's like trying to convince everybody that he's just laying back and not playing the game. You want to talk about making waves, rattling the cage. What happens in here? It's <laughs> monopoly. Wes has decided to throw a low blow and bring Tori and I's relationship into the mix. Wes has no idea what he's talking about. And you will not talk about me or my fiance ever. Do you know why I win, Wes? Because I'm mentally in the game. Get in the game. I'm not gonna sit here and put Tori and Jordan's relationship on blast too much. The reality is, it's a game and it gets under people's skin. Those are two of my biggest enemies in this game and I'm playing every second of this game. I'm in it. It's guys week. We have two of the best guys in the game going head to head. That's good for me. I'm sitting back. You two continue to fight. One of you guys might be going in. Maybe Wes and Rowling and this is my time and 
If I go in, I'm gonna say I want Wes, especially if it's something where I can put my hands on him. Wes is trying to rally votes against Jordan. All he's doing is just putting a bigger target on his back. I will take him, my bitch. <laughs> Wes knows he cannot beat me. He doesn't think any other guy in this house can beat me. And that is the campaign that he is riding on right now to get people to say my name. I'll go in when it's my time to go in, and maybe this is it. Ugh. What am I supposed to be doing? If you just like sit back and allow people to keep on playing their stupid games, they're gonna end up sealing their own fate. I can understand Wes's frustration at this point, but rallying votes against you know a player of Jordan's caliber it's not necessarily the best idea. It's gonna be a cascading depression for him. <laughs> Can you look any less evil? <laughs> Tori was the only reason why Jordan was around. Now she's gone. People are starting to realize we don't really like Jordan. No one actually likes Jordan, but quite a few people fear him. And so I need people to help me get rid of him because I want to win the final. Who's it gonna be? I've done a lot of things on this challenge. Almost everything, except for save bananas, so I'd like to do it. This is a thing of beauty. It's like seeing your parents get divorced when you're younger, and now they're finally getting back together again. Bucket list is complete, I guess. I think it's official now. Wes pulling me into the tribunal, is it a very bold, loud statement? Absolutely. Right now, I feel so much trust. I do too. Like, it's really kind of sad and scary, and I feel like I'm in some sort of an alternate universe, or maybe I died yeah. somewhere. And, and went this, to heaven. And went to, and and, hanging out or, with me. Or maybe this is hell. I never thought I'd see it. Sneaky mother Johnny and Wes got something going on that they are not telling us. You two getting along? This is awesome. Reality is stranger than fiction, Teach. Yes, sir, it is. So, Bananas, Wes, Maddie, you guys are the tribunal. Congratulations. These two geezers have been playing this game for a long time, and it's been a while since either one of them has got a win. But you got two very old OGs now working together. That's kind of scary. We walk into Purgatory, and we see an age-old challenge staple good old-fashioned pole wrestling. This is probably the worst elimination a guy with one hand can get. Oh my god. Well, this is gonna be good. All right, guys, welcome back to Purgatory. Yeah. 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 Tonight is a very special night. Two guys are gonna be going home. My two guys are gonna be earning that red skull, which qualifies them to run my final. You guys had to nominate two players to come down into Purgatory. You chose Fessy and Nelson. Come on down. I don't wanna go against these boys. F that. So losers, you nominated Fessy first. Bananas, Wes, you guys are in a position of power. Do either of you guys want to come down here and battle against Fessy to earn that red skull? Well, that is a hard mother <laughs> no for me. <laughs> Wes. I am uh, not going to go in on this one against a man that is that much bigger than I am. Well, someone has to go against him. You guys interrogated Bear, Corey, Kyle, and Jordan. So which one of those players you guys want to send down here? We're going to start with you, Bananas. I just kind of want to see where Wes's head's at, and I kind of look at him, and like the soulless, cold-hearted bastard that he is, he literally looks at me and smiles, and it's nothing in his mind has changed. Um, one of them may have known that he wanted to go in, so uh, my vote's going to be for Jordan. All right, that's one vote for Jordan. Manny, what about you? My vote's for Jordan. Two votes for Jordan. 
Wes, who do you want to vote for? I, as the actual person that I am, am upset that I am about to send Jordan into a grip contest. But then I remembered, Jordan is nothing but a prick, and I don't feel bad at all. I'm just gonna go ahead and throw the last one onto Jordan. All right, Jordan, come on down. You're going against Fessy. Come on, Jordan. Come on, Jordan. I've always wondered, how would I do pole wrestle? What strategy would I use? What techniques would I use? Well, you're about to find out. Moving on. Jordan is honestly one of the best competitors I've ever seen. Last season, I saw him beat Josh at tug of war when he's half his size, with half as many hands. So why can't he win this pole wrestle? Let's go, come on. Good luck, boys. Look at that weight discrepancy. Jeez. I know. If he was to take it first, he'd epic. Jesse and I both take a reverse grip. So my good hand is underneath, my bad hand is up top, and I have to hold this pole with my wrist. So this is gonna be literally just a push or pull or twist situation. Come on, get it, guys. All right, boys, you ready? Let's go, let's go. body weight on top of Jordan's shoulder. Um, I can tell as Jordan gets up that, you know, it's not good. Come on, get in there! Come on! All right? The your shoulder up, dude. As much as we want to see Jordan, you know, eliminated from the game, this is not how I want it to go down. No, it's just, just no, it's just thing. It's fine. Your shoulder up. All right. Let's go, brother. All right, guys. Get in here. Scores one nothing, Fessy. Come on, let's go. He did hurt, son. It's okay, Jordan. Shake that off. I wish I could describe to you guys the pain that is shooting through my arm. I'm just trying to dig as deep as I can. No excuses, you keep playing. It's either win or go home. Okay, Jordan, oh, it up. Jordan. Come on, Jordan. Come on, Jordan, you're fine, you got it. Jordan is beat up and bruised. He has one hand, now he only has one shoulder. It's not looking good. Okay, brother. All right, the score is one nothing, Fessy. Fessy, you win this one, you win. Jordan, you need to pick it up. All right, boys, you ready? Good job, boys. Go work, Stop fast. It. Good job, Jordan. Good job, Jordan. Love you, Jordan. Good job, Jordan. I just took out the defending champ, a three-time challenge champ. I got my red skull, so uh, I think the house better not throw me in again because someone else will get hurt, too. Good job, boys! Well done, boys! Boys! Uh, I really hope 
anyone out there with a disability. I hope you just, just do it. Don't let the fear of losing, you know, keep you from doing it. I've had something to prove my whole life. For anyone watching, just do it. Can you move your arm? I cannot lift it. <laughs> it's not dislocated, it's just separated the AC. Watching Fessy annihilate Jordan feels a little bad, but it also feels really good. If he was nice, I wouldn't have even done this, but he is such an arrogant prick. He was not expecting that all day. Blindsided. <laughs> we had 100% authority over the fact that Jordan was gonna go in and he was gonna lose. He was one of the better players in this game. We wanted him to have an attitude adjustment. He got a lobotomy.